Hi, I'm Will with Eden Brothers, and I'm going to teach you about planting and growing gladiolus bulbs in your own garden. Gladiolus, sometimes called sword lily, is a perennial favorite that comes back year after year. These flowers have become a popular choice in the gardening industry thanks to their enormous, spiky, beautiful blossoms. Gladiolus is a member of the iris family. The flowers symbolize remembrance and are said to communicate infatuation and love. They're a terrific addition to any landscape or container garden and will provide stunning visual splendor. As you begin to plant gladiolus bulbs, or corms as they're also known, first gather your supplies. You'll need a bag of gladiolus bulbs, a small shovel or flower bulb auger, ruler, gardening gloves, marker, plant labels, and watering can or nearby hose. Most gladiolus corms are firm and similar in size to a large garlic bulb. Fitting in the palm of your hand, the corms are extremely easy to plant and will multiply over time. Gladiolus bulbs are shipped in spring when it's the right time to plant in your zone. Plant them as soon as the soil has warmed up to around 55 degrees Fahrenheit in March or April. Because the bulbs are perishable, you should get them in the ground soon after receiving them. If you don't know your planting zone, you'll find a place on our website to put in your zip code for the answer. Our site also has a tool for filtering by color and offers numerous mixes designed with various color themes in mind. Gladiolus plants prefer full sun exposure, but can handle some shade. Soil preference is rich, soft, and moist with just a little fertilizer. Bulbs do not perform well in heavy, soggy soil. Gladiolus flowers will grow to be 48 to 60 inches tall, adding a gorgeous backdrop to any surrounding plants. Zinnias and dahlias make beautiful companions for gladiolus. While our demonstration shows planting in the garden, you can also achieve success in containers. Gladiolus corms can be grown in rows or bunches. They will tolerate a little crowding, but will grow bigger if they're spaced out. We recommend planting the bulbs four to six inches deep. Secured deep in the ground, you are less likely to need a stake. Plant them about six inches apart. If you're planting in mass, don't plant the bulbs all at once. Stagger their planting for a longer season of blooms. Add mulch to the site to help retain water and keep weeds down. Gladiolus bulbs need plenty of water to flower well. If you get less than one inch of rain per week, you'll want to water regularly throughout the summer. Once your plants are established, they need virtually no attention. If you live in a temperate region, mulch the bulbs deeply with two and a half inches of compost to give them an insulating duvet over their heads in late autumn. In colder regions, grow them in a sheltered spot and lift them for winter when the leaves turn yellow-brown. Lift them and snap the corms from the stems. Dry them out for a couple of weeks, then snap the new corms from the old. The new must be kept dry and cold, but frost-free until they are replanted. You can dig and divide the clumps every few years to select the best corms for replanting. Without this, the new cormless forming will invade the space of the original one and the nutrients will have to be shared. The risk is lots of foliage and no flower spikes. Try planting your gladiolus corms in two week stages. This pattern is known as succession planting and will extend your blooms for as long as possible. After your first planting, wait two weeks, then plant again and wait another two weeks before your final planting. We recommend doing a series of three for best results. Thanks so much for joining us in the garden today. We hope you've learned a little something about planting gladiolus bulbs and feel inspired to grow your own.